Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, yeah, I want to thank everybody for the great comments. You know what, I've been forgetting to use the Hydra ammo on the Night Gear um, with the LRM-40. Uh, and I need to get the um, Inferno ammo into the other Night Gear with the uh, Aero Systems. So we're going to do that, but not we're not going to do that this episode. Uh, th we got one day till our financial report, and we've got eight mechs back. I want to go and pull a couple of missions off today um, because we've got a lot of... Um, repairs we're going to be dropping 2.7 mil on our financial reports we'll be down to a mil so i want to see if we can get some c bills into uh, our bank account so we can start working on these mechs i think i've decided what i'm going to do with the atlas um i had mentioned uh pulling the heavy risk ppcs and the er larges off of the uh um, orion which is most likely what I'm going to do. Round it out maybe with a streak 20 or in the uh, broadside mortar. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But that's the thought there. And then this guy would probably get changed around to um, a pair of heavy um, uh, uh, improved large lasers. Um, and, or heavy large lasers. We don't really have the improved kind. But we'll drop a couple of those in this guy uh, and see what else we can load into them. But that's probably what we're going to do. I want to pull out um, the fire control system Predator for the ranged accuracy. I want to put that in the Dire Wolf. The headshot um, um, fire control system in the Dire Wolf, I want to pull it out. It's either going to go into the Orion or it'll go into the Atlas, one of the two. I'm not sure yet uh, for a pinpoint um, headshotting mech. Maybe the Orion, uh, just so that we're not wasting uh, good chances to hit um, trying for a lucky headshot whereas if it's just the Orion trying for it it's probably a little better We've got more weight and more weapons are going to be going on the Atlas so that's probably what's going to end up happening um, but that being said right now I want to get I want to get this we're going to have a lot of changes to the mechs I think with these new guys coming into play we're going to have to switch everything around most likely the two grand summoners that we've got in storage plus this one are going to get sold uh, it's either going to be that or these archers are going to get sold and we'll keep a cup, pair of grand summoners. Haven't quite decided yet how it's going to work, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's go right to the command center. I'm going to show you the two missions we're going to take today. We're going to take test drive. Uh, this one should rel go relatively quickly, I think, and we don't need to go with a full lance. We're going to take three mechs on this one because we got a mech supplied to us, so that's four. Plenty for a three skull mission. And then we'll have five mechs left over to do the, to do, uh, where are you here? Uh, contested will capture base for clan wolf I think at a four skull five mechs would probably be enough for this one capturing base and both of these are against the local government um, so we're not uh, jeopardizing any of our uh, reputation with either of these two clans so clan wolf we've got what are we at now 89 so we'll raise the rep up with them and test drive we're at 71 with uh, um, Jade Falcon and we'll get enough to get us up into the honored status today so we're going to go ahead and do test drive first let's negotiate this and I'm going to send we're going to go this route uh, get 13 I mean we could go just 10 and just put us over Three, yeah let's do it this way because maybe we can we can get enough uh, parts for a mech out of this one so let's go this route get us into honored status with them and we're going to send Hellion in on this one so I want to use her lance. Where are you here? So we're going to send in the Zeus. We're going to send in uh, the Orion. And we're going to send in an Archer. And we're going to save these guys for the next mission. So we'll have um, an ATM mech, the AMS mech with LRMs, uh, the Arrow mech, and a couple of direct fire mechs for that mission. And we're going to go with... Hellion's going to stay in the Zeus, obviously. Uh, Gundal's going to go to the Orion. Uh, we're going to put uh, Mastodon and the Archer and then Workhorse can run the Mauler. He can let us know how it turns out. Alright, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Ooh, looks like it's just us. Ugliest mech I've ever seen. Rick Shishkos. Okay, move up and looks like there's two lances. Escapes way the hell over there, eh? All right. Well, this should be no problem. All right. Where's our fire lanes here? All right. 
right, let's go this way. I have no idea how fast this mauler is, but if we can get up, get some sensors on, doesn't look like it. You're going to be doing most of the work, I got a feeling. Let's wind this rack up so I don't forget. Yep. How fast is this thing? It's got a jump jet. What do we got here? Oh, this is our uh, this is our our uh, guy. All right, workhorse. You're in high spirits. LBX tens, two ER larges, a pair of LRM twenties. It's not bad, but it's got no heat sinking though. Bet you it's got no heat sinking. If you can't alpha strike all the time, why bother? Chameleon, 50 tons. Ready for orders. What do you think? What do we got in this guy? 34. Let's take it. Oh, well, we got somebody else behind him. Crap and Pult. Dervish. What else do we got? Striker. What do you think? Ooh. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Doesn't have a lot of armor. Screw it. Still alive, huh? Every time that barrage goes off, it just still kind of shocks me. I'm like, oh yeah, should I have used that? I was like, why not? Alright, 65 ton catapult. I think we've got catapult parts, if I'm not mistaken. Might be nice picking some up. Can't even get into combat yet, but that's fine. A direct fire combat, that is. Let's see if we can finish. Oh, wow. Thanks for showing up. 18 on the striker. Yeah, let's see what we got on this guy. All right, sure. Makes it harder for him to hit us. Hunchback. All right, finish him up. What's up, catapult? Now he's in direct line of fire. We're just going to cut a swath through these guys. All right. Who's this guy back here again? That's the Phoenix Hawk, right. Striker, we can probably kill with a good LRM strike. Dervish, um, phase two, round 16, where are you? Striker maybe, going? Possibly, nope, maybe somebody back here. So they probably got eight guys and one more lance dropping. I wonder if the Mauler could have done this on its own. Probably not. I think your goal, if you were in the Mauler, would be to stay at range as long as you could. You drop all your LRM ammo and then close with the LBXs and the ER larges. What do we got over here? That's a, probably a TBM carrier. Light carrier, yeah. Pair of TBM-10 high explosives. Those aren't going to hit anything. But just to be sure, I think, that, I think that's the guy that's going to get the Lerm-70. Yeah. Can you kill me up a catapult, please? And thank you. Ooh. 
See ya. Took him down. You got that right. All right, we got to fire first. Shoot first, ask questions later. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's warlord this so we make sure we get them. Don't want any of those HE rounds landing and spreading damage out. Yeah, you just keep throwing those missiles. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I wish I had the ability to do a direct comparison between the Archer with the LRM-70 and the Night Gear with the pair of arrows. The, the beautiful thing about the arrows though is that you can target the ground. They seem to work better if you're targeting the ground rather than trying to target an enemy. Oh, we, we got a line of sight over here. So rather than targeting an enemy, just target the ground, fire at them. Alright, see if we can get off this guy here. Well, that's a pretty good chance. Let's uh, warlord this. Maybe we can get a one shot, one kill. There was 55 tons. I wonder if we should try it. No, I'm just going to shoot it. I was going to say, well, I wonder if we should just try for a uh, headshot, but... Or not a headshot, a, a CT shot. I'm going to run the mauler up. Where are you? Ready for orders. We're going to just put you into a position of being attacked. I don't want to have to pay for armor. Wow, you got like no LRMs. The shot. Just enough ammo to shoot to get till you can get close. Three turns of fire, that's it. I understand this, the loadouts, like when you read the technical readouts of the mechs, you understand why the loadouts are the way they are. But in real game terms, it's just really ineffectual. If you can't, like, if you can't, he's running. If you can't alpha strike, like, every turn, why have so many weapons? Like, I understand, you know, they need to be able to engage at range. You know, they need to be able to engage close up. Having a variety of weapons for each. I get that. Like I said, like, on paper, um... It's great, but in game practice, it just really doesn't work. Alright. I've always been a big proponent of being able to shoot all your weapons all the time. I mean, it can be a problem if you got if you have ammo. Right? But as long as you have enough, what are you worried about? Striker. 25, eh? Well. 31 of the Phoenix Hawk. Valkyrie, eh? LRM-10. Hunchback, that's a lot of medium lasers. Let's fire on him. Firing on target. Soften up that side. Yes, come in. Can you get to a position? There you are. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, terrible chance to hit, but we're taking it anyway. Wow. Hit with almost everything. You got that right. But yeah, like as I was saying, it's nice to be able to shoot everything every turn. You think about it, like you got it, let's say you got an ER large laser and you're firing that, that's your long range weapon, right? So you're firing that at long range. Your heat's manageable. Everything's good. Then the enemy closes with you, and you got a pair of SRM sixes, and let's say, and a, and a pair of medium lasers. So now you can either fire the large, or the pair of SRM sixes and one medium, or you know maybe the two SRM sixes and two mediums, and be a little bit overheat. Like it doesn't make any sense to me, right? So, but then again, I'm talking game terms. I'm not talking in, re uh, in real terms. Like if this was Battletech was real, you definitely want the different types of uh, ability to close at a variety of ranges or to deal damage at a variety of ranges. I can't get a shot at this guy. Just keep pushing forward. 
See if we can chase them off the map here. All right, he's unsteady, and I still only have a twenty percent chance to hit. Let's just fire. Ah, a little bit of damage. I'm out of long range pistols. Yeah, whatever. What else is new? Disco, disco back. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying though. Like it's it's nice to have the two ER larges and a pair of LBX tens. But if you can only fire the larges or one large and and two LBX, why have the extra one? Unless you're worried about like losing your arm or whatever. I don't know. It's almost like and then yeah, you could you could uh alpha strike for a lot of heat and do more damage, but wouldn't you rather have like an one ultra ten? You know, and then have save the weight for more heat sinking. I I don't know. The LBX is nice too because of the scatter shot, but in game terms, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't find the LBX to be all that potent. Maybe at lower levels, against lightly armored targets, is great. Um, yeah, shred them. But you can see what I mean. Like I'm, I'm not afraid to alpha strike every turn. That's how I design my max. I, I don't care what I'm using. Just shoot everything. Shoot it all, man. Shoot it all. Are you actually going to get to engage with the auto cannons? They're running. Yeah, sprint down this way and try to cut them off. I mean, I get it. They're completely outgunned. That's a back shot. 31%. Let's see if we can do anything this guy. Oh, I took his one torso off. Bail out. Bail out. Nope. Like this guy. I mean, okay, we got improved rocket launchers, relatively high heat. Pirate Infernos, Pirate LRM Incendiaries, Fire Fists, like, I guess he's designed to try and overheat you, Damage is minor, but, barring that, he's toast. And it's a completely unsustainable build. Ah, uh, we got enough to take this guy, I think. Here you go. Vehicle kill for me. Clear the way. Commander. Clear the way for this guy. Where's the uh Phoenix Hawk is a back shot, forty percent, gonna take it. I think you did too. Got it. The next I always found weird. I mean, I understand why they were why they're built the way they are, but the, the you know the Griffin, the Shadowhawk, and the Wolverine, right? The medium class, fast moving mechs, designed to engage at any range. You know, be relatively ammo efficient and um, heat efficient. You know, being able to do a lot. Um, and have the speed to be able to do it too. Like that's the other thing, right? You gotta be able to have the speed to do it, to do what you need to do. All right, let's finish this guy up. One less time. Yes, commander. Well, you finally get to engage somebody. On my way, double time. You don't got any lerms left. But that's fine. Now we don't have any extra ammo. HL. Oh, hot load. I see. So, there you are. This is what bugs me. Right? You can fire twice and that's it. And you gotta start turning weapons off. 
I want to go slug or cluster. Let's go cluster. Better chance to hit. Let's shred this guy. He doesn't have much armor anyway. There you go. Oh, it took his head right off. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I opened my mouth. He just shuts. Yep. <laughs> Whatever I say, it just shuts me up. Here we go. It only needs to shoot one time. That don't matter about no heat. He's only shooting once. All right, firing. Locked on. I don't know if they're going to get uh, reinforcements or not. The last time we did one of these, they had reinforcements. Oh, you're going to engage, are you? Sorry, take that back. You're going to look like you engage. Yeah, what can I do you for? Yeah, let's just not shoot over her head. That's probably a bad idea. In case you miss, you can shoot her in the back. The only reason why I'm backing up is we get better chance from what longer ranges. All right, firing. All right, can you get shot on this guy at all. Nothing. On the move. Full speed. Be nice if we had some LRMs, but apparently we don't, so there you go. Yeah. Who do we give this one to? Yeah. I always love a good LRM kill. It's just so wonderful to watch the LRM shred stuff. I guess we're heading out of here. Moving out. I'm listening. Yeah, they're gonna have re reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Something tells me they're gonna have reinforcements. Come on, bring that thing up here. That ugly piece, piece of junk. Oh, of course. Do we need to go out? How close are we to going out compared to fighting? We got a whole other mission to do and I think we're good. So let's go. Let's get out of here. Just wait for this fucking mauler, please. For Let's go, workhorse. On it. I didn't put that gym in the Argo for you to be slacking off. Yeah. Chain Alanian forces. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Full speed sounds good. Mm-hmm. Right here. No problem. Aye, aye. Double time. Let's go. Don't think they're gonna get a shot at us, but if they've got choppers or something, they might fly over and try and take a pot shot at us. Let's just stay on the road, maybe it's a little faster. Okay, two more turns it looks like. Full speed it is. Yeah, I loved, I mean, when I started off playing, I think I started off with a Shadowhawk. When you play Battletech on tabletop, if I remember correctly, you roll for your starting mech, and I think I got a Shadowhawk. Pretty sure it was a Shadowhawk. Yeah, AC5. 
LRM5. I think it was an SRM2 and a medium laser. If I remember correctly, I think that's what it was. Which isn't bad all around if you think about it. You got your long range weapons, right? Your AC5 and your LRM. And then you got your close range we weapons, your medium laser and your SRM2. But like almost no firepower. The AC5 was it, right? You use that all the time. 15 rounds of ammunition. I mean, the LRM could go forever. But you were limited, right? Because you had that the, the uh, range issue. Oh, really? Make me wait one more turn. I wonder if those guys over there are uh, actually moving or not. There you go. Let's go home. Beautiful. Mission successful. Alright, 498,000. Beautiful. We took almost no damage, so we're going to at least make most of that. Make most of that now. Do we have any parts of anything here? Well, there you go. There's the catapult for us. And I don't think, I'm not even going to look down here, because that's what I want. We need the sea bills. Fire fist, rockets, core, we can sell. Exchanger, that's kind of nice. LRM dead fire. TBM 10 HE, which we don't have any TBM 10s anyway, but uh, okay, so that's not too bad. All right, 318. Weird, I was in my head, I was thinking it's got to be less than 10,000. This was from Flying Shrapnel, I think, from when the Phoenix Hawk hit some buildings. <laughs> hit the Zeus, okay. So that's it for that one. Now let's go ahead right into the other one. Actually, you know what? Let's just go and get that catapult assembled before I forget here. Just to see what it's got on it. Storage, and where's the catapult? Uh, right here. This is the arrow version, right? Oh, Thunderbolt 15s. What does this guy got? Um, stock catapult and combines lethal K2. Doesn't tell me what it has though. You have any others down here? We don't. All right, let's just assemble this because it won't cost us anything to put it together. Thank you. Now let's have a look. I'm not going to repair this thing. Because like I said, it costs money to repair and then you got to go and sell it and it's the time in the repair bay, all that other stuff. So this thing's got nothing. Wow, Thermobolt 15 ammo. Primitive cockpit. Wow, isn't that just, am <laughs> isn't that just amazing? <laughs> okay, I think we'll probably get about 700 and something for this thing maybe. Hopefully it's over a million. Let's just trash it real quick. Ah, 800 and something thousand. All right, so not bad. Uh, we made over a, mil, over a mil on that, so that's good. Let's go into Command Center. Let's get into the second mission right away here. All right, uh, where are we here? Hot, no, War Criminal. No, Contested Will. There we go. Uh, legal Maneuvering Government Agents, Capture Base. And uh, Clan Wolf Rep is going to be almost maxed out by this, so we're going to go this route. Good payout, and it's good sea uh, bills there. So let's pull these guys out. We do have more mech options, which is great. So we can bring more mechs if we want. So Infiltrator, where are we going here? Uh, Dallas, Goofy, and Duck. And then let's bring um, Goose and Spoiler. Um, spoiler alert needs to go up here, though. Okay, so uh, yo, yo. E yeah, where are you here? Hey. Oh, there it is. Yo. And uh, Archer? I think. And we'll go Yo and Yo. This is probably going to be overkill for this, but, you know, 262,000 for drop. Yeah, we're, we're getting our lower level pilots here, some experience. So it's probably worth that. So let's deploy. Alright, here we go, guys. Second attempt. We had a problem with the uh, okay. here we go. 
with the uh, info bar at the bottom okay it's back yeah weird the last time we came down here uh all of these buttons were all stacked on one and they were right down and down under here so i have no idea what the hell happened but we're gonna do things exactly the same way we did it last time move up to there that's all i was able to do and then shoot because i couldn't actually hit brace <laughs> all right here we go oh we don't have a support lance on this one though well that's interesting the last time we were down here we had a support lance interesting Look at that stealth bubble. All right, AMS on full. For Spoiler alert, let's get up here. Let's get spread out. I have no idea what these guys have got. What's the plan? You know the plan. You got to lead these guys forward here. You really are our only scout mech at this point. But we will be right here with you. Okay, Lilu Dallas, let's get up. Uh, I might as well go right to here. I want to get through these rocks here as fast as possible so we can see the whole area. Ready for orders. Um, put myself up in here. On the move. Full speed. Well, this is where we have to go to, I see, to scout the base. Uh, let's neutralize this guy if we can. Ooh, not quite. Target's taken a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Whitworth. You're not in range with HE, are you? We could put the barrage on him. I think I want to wait until we can see if there's any more vehicles down there. We got two here. We could move up. If we don't kill one, we can move up and shoot, get them both. But this should be not necessarily a kill, but some good, really good damage. Okay, I take it back. It's a kill. That would be a kill. Commander? I think they rolled a, uh, a shittier lance on this one. We don't have any uh, support units. I'm wondering if that's why. Because I got worse uh, stuff here. I wonder if anyone can answer my question. So, when you restart a mission, I know it re-rolls what you come up against, but does it give you weaker opponents? Or it just doesn't, you know, factor, it just randomly rolls, I don't know. Ah, oh, you shot me in the ass! Damage is light. You shot me in the ass! It's good to know that that does that, though. Uh, can you reserve for me? I want to see what they got back there. Stop shooting me in the ass. That's why you're on second line duty. Shooting us in the ass like that. It's crazy. Wait, what's this guy back here? Ghost, eh? There's a chance to hit him. Ah, uh, 37 with the ERs. See, that's still pretty damn good. At that range? You kidding me? Let's move forward a little bit. Okay, what else do we have down here? Thunderbolt. Um, it's the same no matter who we shoot at, eh? Let's just shoot at the ghost. Oh. The big one's hit. Nice. Wow, I love it when that arrow hits and the mech dies. It just looked like a massive fusion explosion. He got my fusion engine, boss. If I keep doing that, though, they're not going to have... Uh, oh, it's an Eris. They're not going to have much of a base to take over. Bola... The Ebola. So I wonder if they've got turrets here. Enemy detected. 
Thank you for not shooting me in the ass. Oh, an Orion. Nice. Okay. That condor is sending info back. Let's uh, let's have it not do that. Well, that's very strange. It's the first time a big one's hit and the little ones never did. You don't have to go very far. You don't have to go far. We can kill Ebola. Um. I don't want to destroy too much though. That's the thing. Um. Let's soften up the Orion. Well, you know where he is. Affirmative. I'm showing minor damage. You All right, Goofy. Um. Got to see if they got turrets. No. Modern operational military base with no turrets. Oof, really? Sure. It's got no armor, so we'll just soften him up a little bit here. Good to go. I don't know why I'm messing around with these guys. Just, just, just trash them, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Let's just get them off the map board. A critical hit. Don't know if they're going to have re like reinforcements or not, but let's get down off the hill. Hopefully Infiltrator can spot that or Orion. The Orion. Get a shot at him. And then we can send in Dallas to kill the Eris. Goose can take a pot shot at the Ebola. Actually, maybe she should take a part. Uh, I don't know. The bull has disappeared. Take a pot shot at the heiress, then, I guess. Stop shooting us in the ass, too. Come on, you guys. Decide what you're doing. Ow. I take it back. Stop shooting me in the ass. Gooby's going to be pissed. Fifty one twenty nine. Well, looks like it's gonna be you. I know I'm not using the Hydra ammo. Wow. Hope we can that. <laughs> I do too. You brought all this down for nothing. It's a freaking turkey shoot. I'm wondering if that last battle would have been a lot more difficult. Although I think once we take this base, they're going to get reinforcements, so uh, that'll be interesting. Alright, Dallas, you want him? It's a qu big question of whether or not she'll do less damage than me, or I'll do less than her. Well, she's only got a 12% chance to hit anyway. Let's get, let's get the Warlord on and see if he can hit him. Oh, you hit with one! Get a solid red line in there if we can. Ah, a little better, but not much. We got the tag on. I think. Looked like a tag. Oh, well, they got another vehicle back there. Oh, light carrier. Yes, Commander. Yeah, uh, you know what your job is. Taking the shot. 
God, how horrific that must be for someone sitting in that vehicle. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. And you know you can't, there's no way you can bail out in time. There's like nothing you can really do. Oh, I guess you better stay here. Commander? Guy shooting minefields. There's another minefield. There's a minefield over here too, huh? Well, you just stay here. I want to avoid taking any kind of damage if I can. Be there in a jet. Okay. A. I can't multi? They both have stealth? Do they really? I guess they do. Um. Since my other guys can't see this guy, 20%, huh? Can you use HE? You can. Alright, let's see if we get lucky on it. Wow, three hits, eh? Hey there. Engage in target. Is that it? We get him? Can't take much more of this. No, he's still going. Still going. Whose turn is it? The Ebola, maybe? Nope. Eris just trying to fortify himself. Oh, we can get a shot at him. There you go. Enemy unit destroyed. Gonna avoid taking any damage if I can. One more hit, nice. Just stay here. Awaiting orders. All right. Uh. Trying to minimize the damage on them. Waiting for orders. Okay, everyone's just going to sit back here. By. Gooby's going to take the base next turn. Hopefully that's it. By. Heads up, Commander. Ah, of course. Over here, probably. Yep. Wow, I've never seen someone so eager to die. Javelin? Orders. Sure. On it. Still going. That hit something good. Sure did. Don't move, I don't want you to take any damage. <laughs> It's so pathetic. I don't want you to take one point damage. One point is too one is one point too many. All right, firing. Still going. Actually. Let's do this. Oh, for a back shot. We may not get him this turn, but we might get him the next turn. Alright, secure me this base. That's on the ground, right? It is. Kind of. That's indirect? Really? Sure. I understand. Well, you're a smudge. That's a kill. Uh, 
Oops, not there. Right there. Jump out of the minefield. It's very threatening to us. I'm receiving you. Can you actually... Oh, that's a sprint. Wait, you can't jump. Ah! White woman can't jump. Um... Forget it. You're taking a couple points damage. I gotta put you on, uh... Watch here. There you go. Look at that! Nine points! Yeah, that's a lot of landmines. I only get a couple of points when I do mine, and then they get nine each. What the hell? That's crazy. I'm feeling ripped off now. You guys know what I was doing wrong before? Please inform me in the comments section down below about the uh, about the uh, fast cam ammo because I don't know. I dumped what four LRM 70s with fast cam on that uh, um, Locust 2C, and it just ran out of the thing and took almost no damage. I remember that it was just like what, what. Maybe they got heavy mechs coming. Not moving very fast, whatever they are. Oh, Barbarian. Standing by. Spoiler alert. You kill me up a barbarian. Oh, you can get a direct line of sight on that guy, though. You can't get close to this barbarian, though, because he'll shred you. Um, can we... Yeah, let's go this route. Somebody's got an AMS. Yes, Commander. All right, but I'm ready to go. I know you are. We're all ready to go. Oop, javelin's up. It's probably the medium laser version. Commander. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, you get these guys. Let's use up that AMS. Reporting critical hit. So when the big weapons come down, the ATMs, you can't dodge those motherfuckers. Bet, that Bet you it did. Spoiler alert, let's kill this guy if we can. Locked on target. Still going. Yes, Commander. Oh, AMS is, must be on overload. Doesn't matter though. One less target. You hold that base, Goofy, it's all up to you. <laughs> this guy's gonna wish he was never born. <laughs> you got balls, kid. You got balls. I'll give you that. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Brutus. All right. Commander. All right, Goose. Serve me up some Brutus. Nice start. Waiting for order. Spoiler alert. Engaging with target. All right, a little bit of damage. What's up, boss? You know what's up. LRM seventy to the face. That's what's up. Roger. 
God, the shredding of the LRMs. There it is, folks. Garbage salvage, but we'll see what we get here. Mission successful. Well, that was garbage opposition. We could have rolled in there with the two dashes and probably killed everything. That was four skull, too. Good experience for both of our secondary pilots, though. All right, we got two Orion parts. We're going to take one. And we got two Eris parts. We're going to take two. Boom, two mechs. Look at that. We'll most likely sell them, though. Well, let's have a look down here, just in case. Nah, let's face it. We need money to put the Atlas together. So we're going to go this route. So we got the extra Thunderbolt part. Or the Eris part, that is. Barbarian part. LRM-15. Leg spike boots. Uh, sellables. TBM 10 AG again. All right. Okay, let's have a look. 10,000. Beautiful. That's like nothing. That's awesome. Most of that because we shot ourselves in the ass and we ran through a minefield, but whatever. All right, let's have a look at the mech bays here real quick. We'll put those two mechs together, see what we got. Uh, storage. All right, so where are we here? Uh, there's the Eris. Let's put that together. And the Orion. Now this is what? Hermes XL. 3049, so it should be relatively good. Um, we've only got just those parts. Okay, that's fine. Let's ready this guy. That mech you wanted is back online. Okay, let's have a look here. Alright, so the Orion first. It's a 75 tonner. I don't know if it's going to be any better than the uh, two... Um, Timberwolves that we have. Yeah, this is going to take a lot to repair. Not that much, I guess. Paranarch Beacons 300 core. At least the center torso is pretty much intact. Um, five days, eh? That's it? Because of this, that's why, probably. Alright, let's fix this. We'll probably end up just putting it in the storage and selling it afterwards, but we'll get more for it, I think, if we do it this way. I'll get it in the it's only five days. Eris, let's have a look here. wonder if we got cord. Yep. That's a good find, the range finder. The blaze fire small laser. Eh. We have a large blaze fire. Weapon mount. NSS. What's it doing in the... Oh, it must be uh, permanently installed in the CT. Is that what it is? No, it's not. Why would it be in the arms? Uh, that's confusing. Probably because it uses extra space, I guess? Ah, 458,000. That's a little much, I think. Let's just trash this guy. He's got a heat bank too. ERPPC is a sellable. Alright, let's trash the Eris. We might use the Orion, which is why I'm keeping it. But we might not. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. 1.5 million, beautiful. Let's just scrap him. Alright, 6.4 million. We're going to go through our financial report for 2.8. Um, Gonna work on getting our mechs, mechs back, and I'm working on get, work on getting that Atlas up and running. I think I'll probably keep the regular XL engine in that for now. Uh, I think, but we'll see. I don't know. Like, look at now we're up to 31 days. I mean, it's not going to be 31 days. It'll be probably half that time, 15 days. But still, when we're doing missions and stuff, having it that long, and continuously having mechs holding over, I, I'm trying to not do that. Um, but most likely we're going to jump systems. Let's just have a quick look. I don't think there's anything else or anything new. Yeah, we got some... F I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't have the balls for this one. Uh, there's a couple of four skull, but I don't want to do for the local government. So now we're stars for both. So we're going to jump. Probably do a four and a half skull planet. Hopefully on Jade Falcon and uh, um, Wolf Clan border. We can, you know play the two off of each other and stay uh, honored with both. Uh, that's the goal anyway, so we can get some good salvage, good missions. Um, 
but we're going to do it that way. All right. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.